Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony and in this video I'm going to show you how to link your Google AdSense account to your Google Analytics account. And the reason you want to do this is to see your AdSense revenue data right from within your Google Analytics dashboard. And this includes your total earnings, your earnings on a page by page basis, on a daily basis, monthly basis, all that good stuff. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop right on into the tutorial here. All right, I'm logged into my analytics account at analytics.google.com, which I've already set up. If you want to learn how to set that up with WordPress, I do have other videos on that. Uh, but right now, what we were interested in is coming down here to the admin section. And for this particular website, we're going to be using oit.is. It's a WordPress website detector. And under the property column here, you'll see a product linking section. And in here, you'll see AdSense linking. That's what we want. We don't want Google Ads linking. We want AdSense linking. So click on that. And because I was in here before, uh, this is showing up for me, but what you're probably going to see is something that looks like this, AdSense linking. What we want to do is click on new AdSense link. And then as long as you're signed in with the same Google account that your AdSense account has, this will be auto-populated with your AdSense property ID. Okay, so that's my AdSense property ID. If, if you have, for whatever reason, a different Google account, for your AdSense than your analytics, then you're probably going to see a page that looks like this, right? So there are no AdSense accounts associated with the analytics login you're using. So they're giving you some options. Uh, make sure you give edit permissions for the analytics property and administrative access for the AdSense account, or you can create a whole new AdSense account. So in this case, go ahead and follow their instructions. They do have links out how to set that up. Um, but once you have done either one of those options, you'll come to a page that looks like this. And all you have to really do is click on this radio button for AdSense for content to make that uh, that link. And then it says link configuration, which analytics view should AdSense property link to. Um, by default, you probably, or maybe you named it something else, but pick your, your view that you're typically using in analytics. Mine's all website data. And then we'll enable that link. Now, because I, made this link today. There's no uh, historical data that's going to show up in my dashboard. Um, so I'm going to show you a different website, uh, specifically um, my serial blog, which I'm going to have to change the account from this one to Tony Florida and then show you serial guru here. If you click on AdSense linking, you'll see that that has already been linked. Uh, there's one linked view. And if we go back out to our Let's go to the behavior section and look at the overview for here. You'll see what I'm talking about when I say you can see your revenue data right from within analytics. So uh, here we go, right? AdSense revenue over the past, uh, what is this, one month, $20 from AdSense revenue on this website, okay? And uh, what's also cool, I mean, you can change, you can change it from a uh, weekly, uh, weekly basis, a monthly basis, like I said, or change the time frame that you're looking at. Um, but I don't think mine goes back too far. Let's let's select uh, AdSense revenue to show in the graph, uh, and we'll do it on a daily basis. So, yeah, this only starts. Uh, I must have made this selection, this link, I should say, uh, back in the beginning of July or mid July. Um, so we only have about a month of data here. But anyway, what what you can see. Uh, in addition to the total revenue, you can see it on a page by page basis. So down here, you'll now see that uh, this one blog post in particular has a uh, majority of the AdSense revenue that I'm making. So $8.91 just from that one page, it's close to 50% of my AdSense revenue. And then these other uh, few pages are making me uh, much less than, than that amount. So that's kind of a cool view to see how much you're actually making on a page by page basis. And I know a lot of this data is available from within your AdSense account dashboard, uh, but it's cool to see that in uh, a single analytics dashboard. I think that's why people would wanna make that link. So guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I will try to help you out. Uh, if not, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.